All right, good morning, guys. Um, some of you may be going through a bit of a time when you might feel a little bit discouraged. And there's probably a few of you that are out there feeling that way today, but I want to provide you with uh, uh, some encouragement today coming out of uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. Uh, and here it is, Paul's talking about that uh, even, even while we were with you, we warned you that troubles would soon come, and they, they did, as you well know. And that is why, when I could bear it no longer, I sent Timothy to find out whether your faith was still strong. I was afraid that the tempter had gotten to, um, or gotten the best of you, and that our work had been useless. But now Timothy has just returned, bringing us good news about your faith and love, he reports that you always remember our visit with joy and that you want to see us as much as we want to see you. But here's the kicker here. So we have been greatly encouraged in the midst of our troubles and suffering, dear brothers and sisters, because you have remained strong in your faith. I want to encourage you because I know times are tough out there right now, but somebody is needing encouragement and you can be someone that can provide them that encouragement that can provide them that lift that they need to get through this time so I want to encourage you to encourage someone today you can do that but here is what Timothy was talking about Timothy was saying he was encouraged because of their faith and so I want to encourage you to stay connected in your own personal faith Find times, Bible study, scripture memorization, devotions, prayer, and then post. Post on Facebook. Post on Instagram. Post about how God is being faithful to you. Post encouraging words to others. And I am convinced that as you stay connected in your own faith and you share that connection with others, others will be encouraged because of that very thing. So I want to encourage you to do what Timothy says, and I want you to encourage others today.